let us to summarize how to transfer what you examined by your hand into a report, into a paper. Uh, by this section, I need to give you my experience in how to report a case of arterial uh, uh, duplex for the lower limb or the upper limb. We will start to show you how to report. Reporting arterial doubler lower limb is very important to draw. The drawing is very, very important. We did right lower limb arterial color duplex. How to report? We know from our examination the case is very good and well with no significant stenosis or occlusion. That means we can draw the aorta and external iliac arteries like this. Then the common femoral, profunda and superficial femoral like that. This is the popliteal. Here consider that this is the adductor canal level. This is the popliteal. Then the trifurcation for the this is the posterior tibial artery which is medial this is anterior tibial artery which is lateral this is peroneal artery and this is the dorsalis medis artery here is internal iliac we did not examine but we examined the distal aorta we examined the external iliac Examine the common femoral. We can make like this that this is external iliac and this is common femoral. This is profunda. We examine all of these regions. Okay, here is aorta, here is external iliac artery, here is common femoral artery, superficial femoral artery, proximal, middle, and distal. Ductal region here is super. This is popliteal artery here, popliteal artery, and this is a femoropopliteal segment. This is anterior tibial proximal. We look at examination proximal and distal. All of this was what triphasic phase, phase, phase means what means no significant, no significant stenosis which is severe or high grade stenosis there is nothing like this we did not pick like this or also no occlusion along our examination if you need to add more accurate and more precise and more uh, 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 objective way you can write the big systolic Velocity, how much? The big systolic velocity, how much? Big systolic at each segment, it's big systolic velocity. By this way, you can report. And I will show you now a report format to apply what you have seen in the examination, to apply it in the, uh, uh, in the in your report. We will transfer to a reported format. Thank you. Uh, after finishing the quick idea or quick review for your reporting, uh, uh, let us to go directly to a format dedicated for arterial lower limb duplex study. The case we did now, I need to, uh, to report it in this format. First of all, remember that the name I patient ID, date, and referred by, status, previous status, this is quality, should be represented in your report. Status, the patient is complaining of, 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 according to the clinical data. Then, previous study. If there is no, you should say no. No previous study. Okay? Now, what we did? We did aorta. Aorta was, type of flow was triphasic. Yes. It speaks systolic velocity, uh, uh, nearly, it was around, around 100 centimeter 
per second. Okay? Iliac vessels. Type of flow was triphasic on the left and type flow on the right was triphasic on the right. Big systolic velocity around 100 centimeter. It was like that nearly. Also 100 centimeter. That means the aorta and the external iliac arteries was very good and normal. Okay? Jump directly to the common femoral on the right side. We check the right side, but we did not check the left side because the examination was not bilateral. Our examination was right lower limb arterial duplex. Here, we make this format. We create this format, me and Dr. Dua. Thank you for the Dr. Dua effort. Uh, the common femoral artery, this is external iliac artery, this is common femoral artery, these are the segments along the arterial tree down to the dorsalis beads. These segments are named here, external iliac artery, type of flow, it was triphasic. Big systolic velocity, write the number of velocity, it was around, around 90. All are 90, around the 190, 80, it was like that, all the segments. External iliac artery, proximal common femoral, distal common femoral, proximal superficial femoral, mid superficial femoral, distal superficial femoral, at the, at the adductor canal level. We did it before the adductor canal level. This is uh, uh, right to write, uh, it, is, it is normal to write it like that. Bobletial artery was around the 80, uh, proximal, bobletial artery, posterior tibial artery proximal, Proximal anterior tibial artery, distal posterior tibial artery, distal anterior tibial artery, distal perineal artery, uh, dorsalis beads artery. This is dorsalis beads artery here. All was normal. All was triphasic. 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 All, we can write it like this. All, 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 all normal. Okay? That means our examination finally, it was normal examination. Here, your conclusion. Number one. You should write, essentially, normal triphasic wave form along the examined arterial tree, denoting what normal arterial blood flow means no significant stenosis or occlusion. No other significant abnormality. For example, I'm giving just a highlighting and giving you the points you should write, like aneurysm, like, 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 okay, in other arterial disease. Finally, your conclusion here can be summarized. Essentially, normal arterial duplex of right lower limb arterial tree huh? with no significant stenosis or occlusion. Okay, after this you can go to sign it and you give a quick report for, for what? For archiving, for documentation by two ways, by triphasic waveform and by the velocities, by subjectivity and by objectivity. You get your opinion, not your opinion, you're confident accurate and the quick opinion by two ways, by subjectivity according to the triphasic waveform and by objectivity to write the velocities along all the system. Some uh, institutes of Doppler may say that you can measure the big systolic velocity of the anterior tibial and uh, compare it with the big systolic velocity of the posterior tibial when they make index, uh, ankle big systolic velocity index, all of these are uh, uh, more uh, more details, but here is the general standardized form of reporting of the right lower limb arterial uh, uh, color duplex study. I hope this make it simple for you, and you will get the maximum benefit from what I exam what I explained. And so that, thank you. Bye bye.